Ooh, welcome back to Time Melters, Melting Time and such on. We are back at Cabellon, which I guess we maybe get a cutscene with less talking. Saving our brother and Abina, maybe, we'll say. And then fighting the Shadow Queen later on. That's the plan right now. And, and let's continue. I know it wasn't easy, Tegan, and I hope you still think you did good putting your trust in me. But look, we can see Cabellon in the distance. Everything we went through will finally pay off. Now let's go save your brother, maybe. Almost there at last. Let's see if Amina is gonna turn on us. Oh god, I <laughs> yeah, he helped us so much in that last fight. Fafnos second in command, Godok has more of an artistic and architectural mind than his superior, and su as such complements Val Fafnos' stronger magical abilities. During the Time Rune War, it was their designs that became the lesser and greater moonstones, among other magical artifacts. This... <laughs> God damn it. Too much Red Bull Cola. This synergy in the leadership is what has made the Kulmo such a strong ally, but also perp for normal water. A perp for tanking normal water. I know it's weird. As you approach Gabalon, your home village, you wonder if you ever managed to get a decent night's sleep again. But a vow has been made, and now is the time to honor it. No difficulty? Maybe? God damn it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I killed it. Am I recording? Normally, yes. Probably, maybe. Let's check out and ruin everything. Yes, good, good. Back at the start. Such a long journey with such a strong sense of deja vu again. Yep. You're either gonna die or become the evil lady. Something like that. God damn it, good man. Save Edwin. Well, I'm running into the rock here. That's the black water. Oh. Are we too late? Is that me getting dragged there? I mean, not. that's us down there being escorted, and there's Edwin. Stop talking and start running. Do you remember how it all happened, Tegan? We were tied to the stake, pawns attacked the village, thus creating a diversion for Edwin to save you, and then... I was there, man. We have no time for this. Yeah, stop talking and start running. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. My apologies, I'm babbling, I'm exhausted. Trust, truth be told. Go on, I'll catch up with you. Okay, I'm ready for the plot twist. My PC not overheating, overheating constantly, which it is. It is overheating constantly right now. I, I remember the church. Do we get a big puzzle and fight here? Even though the game says no. No puzzle difficulty. That's a weird way that I'm running. And it's a long way. I still know that path. That I walked down at the beginning of the game. Uh -huh. This shot is stronger than the other ones. Okay. Uh -huh. There's one more. Taken, I had a point earlier. Muddled for thought my brain may be these these were the pawns I was telling you about the very ones who created the diversion and now the diversion won't happen as the flow ripples outward what I don't know what you mean dude oh, I guess we're gonna get a cutscene right here bum, bum, bum. might be weird Let's see if there actually is a double turn, a heel turn, more so. God, that's a weird path. 
who created these roads. Not even cement on them. Oh, the ye old olden times. Oh. <gasps> oh, what's the plan now? Psst. Psst, Edwin. What? What, Tegan? But how? Is that you? What's happening? Shh, not so loud, you lock. You big, wonderful lock. Come back here so the guards don't hear us. Um, apparently we have all the time in the world. Who? Cool. We did it. You're alive. It worked, it worked, I did it. Yo, I missed you so much, Edwin. Tegan, is that you? Or are you just some witch casting a spell on me? It's me, Edwin, your sister. I know you all my life. You gave me bluebells. What? Bluebells or blue bows? When I fell into the pond and broke my arm, remember? And when I'm sad, you always sing old watcher spirit to cheer me up. Listen to me. I'm Tegan for real. Tegan, it is you. By darn, it's a miracle. But wait, wait, wait. If you are you, then who is that on the pirate here? It is me as well. I know it makes no sense, but you must believe me. If you try to save me, well, well, to save that old Tegan tied to the stake, you will die. Listen, I have these strange newer powers, and I came back to help you. I know how you're confused right now. Byron knows I'm completely bewildered half the time. But you have to trust me. I'm here, I'm alive, and I want to keep you alive too. There's something different about... No, there's something different about you, sis. You have changed, but I recognize you, big sister. You never let me stray before, so what do we do now? No, nothing. We have to let both Amin and Tegan's past selves die under his pyres. Oh, you bastard. What? What did you say? Oh my god, what's that beast? It's a giant bear man pig. Thing. Don't worry, Edwin. That's Aquaman, a true friend. Now, I'm a man. What do you mean by let both of me and my past self die? By the flow, this will not be easy, Tegan. Heed me well. When Amina tried to cast her spirit into your body, Ed was one standing next to you, trying to save you, as you remember. Well, Edwin's proximity had consequences. He soaked up half of Amina's spell and that killed him instantly. His blood was not capable of absorbing such power, you see. Do you understand now? Amina's spell killed Edwin, not the pawns, and she knows it. Uh. Amina? What is he talking about? Lies, nothing but lies, my dove. I don't want... I don't know what's come... Well, I don't know what's come over you, I'm, I'm a man. Enough, Amina. I'm on flow and I know Tegan and I couldn't tell you this before we needed Amina to cooperate to think she was in control. She can so easily cloud your mind. Stay silent, Amina. Right here. Plan, however, wasn't to become just a faint voice in your head. Amina wanted to take full control of both your mind and body, but Edwin, stolid, loyal, fool-hearted Edwin, prevented this by unwittingly absorbing part of Amina's spell with disastrous results for him. <laughs> yeah, right. Now you may speak, Amina, tell Tegan what you're really doing on the pyre. Talk. Squirt the flow out of your nose, I'm a man. I say, well, I better finish the tale myself, I suppose. Amina was looking for you, Tegan. It was no coincidence that you found yourself tied on the next to each other, on the pyre next to each other. Or so, casting one's spirit out of one's body is one thing, but forcing one's spirit on someone else and thus taking control of them. Now that is very finicky enchantment to cast, indeed. It's a very... <laughs> Water. Ah, oh, too much talk. You have to shed your physical form from the project, your spirit into the body of another person. You have to die in a way. And if you fail, you die in every way. You have to be quick. 
and you have to be close because flying into the world disputes the case and loses its essence in as few as free breaths. Amina Mon Moonroots, the seventh sister of the silver chain, knew this well. Naturally, she arranged to have herself arrested by the Inquisitors and when put to the question, betrayed you, Tegan, as a witch. Oh. She let herself be tortured. I had to... I had to be convincing. Uh, it had to be convincing. I'm not saying she's without courage. When she was condemned, when she seemed broken, when the Inquisitors had lost interest, she pleaded with them to be burned at the stake next to you. She told you the silver chain was responsible for her arrest, but it's not true. She wanted this. What's the thumbnail? Point. This is to post the rest though. Is any of it true, Amina? <sighs> Amina? Oh, by Barra's heart, Amina, how much of it is true? This is bigger than you, Tegan, bigger than me. Or oh, Amanan's accursed flow. I did what I had to do to learn from your blood. Your powers are unique, unprecedented. They must be shared with every keep of the silver chain. I did what I did, my dwarf, and I'm sorry, but I understand now. Do you hear me, I'm a man, I know how lean could create echoes now. Brr, I heard a mouth click in there too. Lovely. Oh, so much. I hoped for a cutscene, but it's all just talk. We have no more time. The power's about to be lit, Tegan. Go, run, get close to the power so I can force my spirit back into my old body. Unite my past self. Save me before it's too late. Amina, I don't know. Tegan, this is why your mother hit you away from the silver chain. She also had powers like Aline, like yours. Your mother vowed that you would not suffer this fate. Amina is a closed book to me. Even I cannot foresee all of her plans, and that frightens me. Amina, prove me wrong, show us your real intentions, open your mind to me. To you, to you, you smack water in the pounds of time. I thought as much. Well, she right. She's right about this. We have the time. At any moment, down. I mean, on the power will cast the spirit into the other you. But Edwin stands here. You will not be there to absorb part of that spell power, so that Amina will have complete control over your body, Tegan, and she will find a way to escape, just as you escaped the power early in Renaford. As she wields your powers, who knows what she will do next? We cannot take another chance. We cannot take that chance. You must intercept Amina's spirit before it enters your body. You must both die on the piles together. Oh, this is going so fast. What are you even saying, Amaman? Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh, God. I'm probably 10 or 15 minutes in and it was just reading. Listen to me, both of you. If I burn on that stake again tonight, no Amorav, no Silver Chain, no Time Rift will protect you from me. This is your last chance to make this right, Tegan. We are out of time. It's happening now. Absorb her spirit, Tegan, and fight to keep control. Okay? I don't have a choice. I'm sorry, Amina. Sorry? No, my harlot. You only think you are sorry, but when we're done, you will know what sorry truly means. So Amina's power by doing what? Uh -huh. Bring it to me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Come here, baby. Come to Tegan. There's a cutscene. Saving. Oh, so it was just a part of talking. Amina. How far are we actually into it? I need to check. Before I read myself through that again. 14 minutes, yep. Oh boy, so much reading. Oh. Amina created the power that rightfully belonged to her mother, Daimara. Daimara, one of only a few very people who knew of the assistance, existence of Tegan and Edwin. She gave herself up to the Inquisition on the condition that Tegan would be burned on the pyre next to her. 
If Edwin had not intervened and absorbed part of Amina's soul, Tegan's mind would have been overrun and Amina's plan would have succeeded. Suddenly, seized of an unexpected second chance, Amina was wrested control has wrested control of your body away from you as you drift in the abyss of a madwoman's mind now her invisible prisoner you realize that you will soon become a fading echo as her powers grow within you okay oh boy okay we're fighting amina and ourselves tegan's mind shortly after thanks aquaman for giving me all the good tips I if I would have had a choice, I would have sided with Amina, to be honest. Because I'm a man just screws everything up. Tegan, I know you're still in there somewhere, child. You're still you, Tegan. Come back to us. I'm a man. I can hear you. But every word hurts. What happened? Where am I? The flow be thanked. I thought we had to lose you forever, Tegan. Listen to me, I'm a man. Amina is so much stronger than I thought. You fool. She took control of you, Tegan. She used you to slaughter everyone in Kebelon. You fool. I don't understand. As soon as you absorbed the mean spirit, you weren't mad. You killed he went mad. You killed all the guards. We tried to restrain you. No avail. You were not yourself. At the pyre, you took Amina's dead body in your arms. Tenderly, like a mother holds a child, and ran away carrying her. It was grim, lassie, grim, and then I heard your voice in my head, and you immediately fell unconscious to the ground, your arms still about Amina's body. Yes, I remember Barbara. Where am I? Where's Edwin? Edwin stands right here next to me, Tegan. I can see what you see now, last. Do you understand, Tegan? We are in your mind now. Oh, that you are in mortal danger. None of this is real. As we speak, you are lying on the ground here next to me and Edwin. I feel so tired. Why are you here? Will you? I'm just going to rest for a little while. No, Tegan, hear me. Your mind is infested. You must take back control. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I would have said it with Amina. Oh, I'm a man. Just can't keep to these words he's a fool and I kind of like her charm the evil sarcastic charm it's a trap I'm not reading that it's her she's infesting your mind find a way to kill these infestos they look like horror creatures deep into your mind nice oh that's a cool change I would say I see you. <laughs> ah the voice acting is good I would want more of that oh boy that's actually a better thumbnail right Amina, I sense her. She's everywhere. She's so strong. Yes, perfect timing. Ah, there you are, Tegan. My dearest darling. Brave, my sweet. How do you like it? To be a murmur in the mind of another. Oh, Tegan, your power certainly outbrought the cheers. I mean, get out, get out of my head. What would you do this? Why would you do this? Why? Why you just surly? They are burning us alive, Tegan. All of us. Byra, take them. A whiff of magic. A glimmer of something as innocent as, as being good with flowers or plants. And it's off to the pyre. It's already happened to you. And you dare ask why I do what I do? You are really nothing but a children. And yet, this is quite amusing. <laughs> we all want the same thing. You, me, I'm a man. Yes, I see you too. You exhausted old 
God, we all want to end this chaos to destroy the puppeteer and noble goal. To be sure, we merely disagree about the methods. Saving the flow is not your goal, Amina. I may be exhausted, but I am not yet blind. Tell us what will you do when you meet with the puppeteer? Bang! You're gonna bang. Poor Amama. You run yourself ragged, putting out fires all over existence. And it has indeed made you blind. All time matters are blind. You have been for some time. None saw the great war coming and now, here you are. Your wishes have not prepared you for the hell that is just part the bend in the road. Oh, Tegan! I wish we could make this work. I could have taught you so much, my harlot. I'm glad I heard your voice one last time, but there's nothing for it. This mind is too exiguous for both our souls. I was the voice in your head, and now you, you will be the barest echo in mine. Go sleep, child. Make it easy on both of us to sleep, perchance to train. I'm a man. She's creeping into my mind. I can feel her prying away. Concentrate. Push her back. <laughs> okay, this part is over. I just gave it my best voice acting. Oh, and I need a break. Oh. There's the double turn or the turn I was waiting for. Very cool. I'm going to take a break. And the next part will be the fight. Peace out.